And welcome to the first coaches show. I'm Justin Adams here with the head coach of the Regis Rangers. I'm saying the soccer team, Tony McCall. Coach, how you doing? I'm doing well today. Thanks, That's Justin. Right. It's, a, it's a beautiful day to be out here. That's right. It's beautiful. Now, we're here at Regis Match Pitch where a couple of days ago, your young men took a 2 to nothing victory over Newman University. Talk about that win. We did. It's uh, obviously our first uh, opening game of the season. And uh, we were playing a, a, a very good Newman University team who've, you know, traditionally been strong. They had a good year last year, came in this weekend, and um, they had already played on Friday. So they were, they had the butterflies had uh, gone out of them, and, uh, you know, we were uh, excited to get ourselves off and running. You started off pretty strong at the 42nd minute with a nice goal. We did. You know, I, I think that we, uh, we, we created a lot of good opportunities in the first half. Uh, I thought we maybe could have been um, one or two up by that stage and um, you know it was exciting for Ryan Erweiler who you know was coming back from a career a season and an injury last year in pre-season uh, where he had the red shirt and it was his first game back which was uh, really exciting for, for him. Speaking of somebody else doing some network to, in a sense was uh, Lalo as you like to call him but Eduardo getting the score in the 66th minute. Eduardo uh, scored a, a wonder goal we call it a worldly. Okay. A worldly and uh, you know he came off the bench um, you know hasn't hasn't had a lot of time in pre-season um, but he's, he's, his movement's good he mustn't have touched the ball four times before he got it and, and I was like, okay, pass it, pass it. He's about 30 yards out and he just winds up and sticks one in the top corner and uh, I'm, we're very happy for him. You know, he's worked extremely hard and, you know, he's an integral part of our group and um, it was really nice to see him get off the mark. Definitely. And speaking of solid play, talk about your goalkeeper, Chase, doing a great job uh, holding on to the shutout. You know, Chase. Chase is a good keeper. We've got, you know, we've got three keepers that are really battling away there for for that starting position. And uh, you know, Chase has a lot of experience coming out of the DA and in, uh, in, in St. Louis with the Scott Gallagher group. And uh, you know, he was at a Division One school prior to coming here and uh, has a lot of experience. So uh, you know, we we like Chase because he's, you know, he's vocal. Uh, he's very good with the ball at his feet. So he, he plays like a field player as well. So that, that gives us a, an additional uh, uh, opportunity to play out of the back and play around the back. Well, speaking of which, going down the road now, two to nothing victory on Sunday. But now you go to this weekend, you have a couple of games in California. Talk about them. We do. We uh, head out to San Francisco where we're playing Humboldt State University on Thursday. And then on uh, Saturday evening, we'll, we'll play uh, Cal State East Bay. Two teams that we haven't played in the past, but, you know, obviously... Uh, you know, two good programs where you know we're we're looking to go out and see a different style of soccer. I think uh, on the West Coast, uh, which which hopefully will give us some confidence and you know expose us to a different type of play before we go into the RMAC, uh, the slate of games that we have there. What do you want your team just to uh, to garner from these games this weekend? Well, I th I think experience. You know, we'll you know we'll go uh, deep into our squad this weekend, and and everybody will get to play. And you know, we want to get minutes for our young guys. All right, coach. We look to hear some great news when you come back from Cali. Justin, thank you so much. All right, that's head coach Tony McCall, the men's soccer team, looking to do some uh, some work down in California. When we return, we will have a nice opportunity to talk to the women's head coach and talk about their weekend as well. So we'll be right back.